Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples using sum and sum and difference rule. So let's take an example in here. In this example, we if y if the given function y is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 5x to the power of 3 plus 4x to the power of 2 minus 6x plus 7 we want to find the derivative of this function with respect to x so the way to do that the way to solve this function is as follows dy by dx is going to be equal to we can write this as d by dx of this whole function x to the power of 4 minus 5x to the power of 3 plus 4x to the power of 2 minus 6x plus 7 like that and then we can differentiate uh, each one of these functions separately and then we can write that as follows d by dx d by dx of x to the power of 4 minus d by dx d by dx of 5x to the power of 3 plus d by dx of 4x to the power of 2 minus d by dx of 6x plus d by dx of 7 like that okay therefore now we are ready to apply the differentiation the first one d by dx of x to the power of 4 these are now in the power rule format and the constant times the power rule format therefore in the first one d by dx of x to the power of 4 n is equal to 4 therefore we can write this one as 4 x to the power of 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 minus d by dx of 5x to the power of 3 5 is a constant so therefore we can write this one as 3x to the power of 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 plus 4 d by dx of 4x to the power of 2 4 is a constant so therefore we can when we differentiate x to the power of 2 it is going to be 2x to the power of 2 minus 1 which is going to be equal to 1 or just x like that and therefore we're going to write it out in that in, in that manner and then minus d by dx of 6x 6 is a constant and then d by dx of x is going to be equal to 1 and then plus d by dx of a constant number is going to be equal to 0 so therefore we have we have differentiated it successfully and therefore now we'll simplify uh, uh, some more this is 4x to the power of 3 minus 5 times 3 is 15x to the power of 2 plus 4 times 2 is 8x minus 6 times 1 is 6 so that is the that is the simplified form of uh, of uh, differentiating this function with respect to x so therefore dy by dx dy by dx this is our solution and we're going to put a box around this and this is our answer that is where we want to leave it let's look at another example in this second example we have a function of this this kind g of x is equal to minus one half x to the power of six plus two x to the power of 3 minus 3x and we want to find the derivative of this function find g prime of x or find the derivative of this function with respect to x so that is what we want to find so the derivative of this function with respect to x we can we can write it out as follows d by dx of this whole function minus one half x to the power of 6 plus 2x to the power of 3 minus 3x like that we can we can apply the differentiation to each one of these functions inside the brackets as follows d by dx 
of negative one half x to the power of six plus d by dx of two x to the power of three like that minus d by dx of 3x like that okay so therefore now when we are ready to simplify we are ready to apply the differentiation in here minus one half is a constant so we're going to pull that out as a constant and d by dx of x to the power of six here that is in the power rule format so therefore n is equal to six so therefore we go we can we can simplify that as six x to the power of 6 minus 1 which is going to be equal to 5 n x to the power of n minus 1 or 6 x to the power of 5 is what we can simplify that as plus d by dx of 2 x to the power of 2 2 is a constant and then d by dx of x to the power of 3 is in the power rule format where n is equal to 3 therefore d by d dx of x to the power of 3 is going to be equal to 3 x to the power of 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 so 3x to the power of 2 minus d by dx of 3x 3 is a constant the different d by dx of x is going to be equal to 1 therefore we can simplify this some more as follows we have a 6 in the numerator we have a 2 in the denominator 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 3 is 6 so therefore negative 3x to the power of 5 is how the first term simplifies to the second term is 2 times 3 is 6 x to the power of 2 and the third term is 3 times 1 is 3 so minus 3 x to the power of 5 plus 6 x to the power of 2 minus 3 is the is the derivative of this function with respect to x so this is where we want to leave it this is our answer this is our answer in my next presentation, we shall see the proof of the product rule followed by some examples.